would you explain being hit on the head and you can play the piano? I, I, I mean, I picked up a brush, I could paint. And, and I couldn't just paint, I could paint. So in the course of this three and a half years mm -hmm. of, of actual mm -hmm. time of painting, I've done six to 700 paintings. Mm -hmm. And Stunning. each and every one can go in an art gallery. Uh, it's, I truly am a vessel. I'm a vessel that picks up a brush, a palette knife, and a painting mm -hmm. appears. I look at a, I look at a photo, feel the photo, and the autism takes over. And then what I get is, I get this feeling of almost trance-like as I stand in front of a canvas, and my autism picks the colors and picks where I paint. And at the end, I come back and I view the painting almost as another person because when I'm done, it's almost as if I'm seeing it for the first That's time. Gorgeous. You know. I, 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 Go ahead, Shannon. I just wondered because when I watched you paint at the Dem Temple Grandin event, um, and I, you know, I was standing there with a young girl who works for us. She's 11 years old, and she was saying, "What is he painting? What is he painting?" And I said, "Watch, and you'll see. It'll be revealed to you." And and this horse emerged, and it was so interesting to, you know, you you did it in about 15 minutes. And actually, if people go um, onto your Facebook, you had a video um, posted of it. It, it was truly amazing how this horse just emerged. But the question that I had afterwards was, do you know, when you approach the blank canvas, do you know what's going to be on it when you're done? Or does it does it just come out fully formed? Do you have the picture already? Or do you, did you know it. what you were going to paint that night? I don't see it. I don't know anything. What I have is I may have some things that are floating in my head that are concepts, but they're not concrete. Uh, I, I, this autism is so amazing. It, it's incredible. Uh, I'll paint. I'll paint a sky, and I will put the darks and the lights in the sky where they need to be for the painting to be right when I'm complete. But there's no way I can know what that's going to be as I paint it. Wow. When you say you start with a picture, you don't start with a literal picture. You start with a picture in your head. No, I start with a literal picture. So what I can do is, like, I, if I do a horse painting, I'll look at a horse. I'll okay. feel a horse. Okay. Uh, now, what, what emerges on a canvas is not the picture. Right. What it is is the, the feeling of that particular picture. I see. So it, some of the pictures you see have, like, uh, stormy skies. Well, the stormy sky in my painting is not the stormy sky in the painting. I mean, in the photo, uh -huh. what it is, is I saw a stormy sky, I felt it, and it emerged on my canvas. And what normally happens, and I don't know if I have an, an elevated uh, ability to see colors, but there's colors in places where you don't expect colors. Uh -huh. Yeah, the uh, way you paint the mane of a horse and it has yeah. a rainbow in it, Michael, is just stunning. Uh, absolutely stunning. I, I I love green. Yeah. And so I I really am drawn to when you paint things. There is, I, I see the green in it, and it's just breathtaking. It's a life giving. Yeah. It's energy. But, it's the energy. Energy. The yes. You're you're channeling really. You're. It's almost like this Holy Spirit coming through you. Yeah. It, it seems right. Sometimes I'm like I'm thinking like okay so who's coming through today is it Monet is it going to be Van Gogh it's like I don't know it's, no. and, and it's and it's Asperger's you know truthfully I've had a lifetime of seeing things I've had a lifetime of 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 sucking in this information so when I finally got to the point in my life here in my mid fifties where I picked up a brush everything that had been before comes out and it's very Asperger's I mean I. I can almost predict people's behavior, but I don't know why they do it. And the only reason I can predict their behavior is I've watched it over and over and over again. And now they're doing exactly what I expect, but I don't know why they would do that. Well, I love the way you language things, Michael, because it reminds us of all the gifts that, that mm -hmm. this disorder that we mm. hear so much about, uh, I put the quotation marks in the air, um, that we, we hear about all these things that people can't do, and you mm -hmm. remind us of all the things that people can do. And the gifts. It, the gifts. We have to mention, though, that you are going to be at the Autism Society of America, Conf America Conference next week yeah. in Denver. Um, and are you going to be painting there? 
I will be painting. I'll have a booth. I'll I'll have an ongoing uh, painting, and I'll also uh, will be uh, focused at one point on stage and speaking. In, in fact, I'm. This is the most amazing life. I mean, here I am, with really my painting getting out in the public uh, at 2012, beginning of the year, and here I'm sitting. I'm going to be here at this premier event, uh, speaking, painting. You know, able to share uh, toward the end of the year, November. I'm in Siberia. I'm in Siberia at a yeah. autism event. Uh, and Janet you're going to be at that wedding that we were talking about, the uh, the Love wedding. and Autism Conference mm -hmm. um, that's coming up at the end of September. Um, yeah. We're going to feature that on this show. Yes, yep. we're going to be attending. And um, so I, I'm thrilled that you have this wonderful, exciting life and that you have found this gift. It gives all of us so much hope. Michael, tell them the websites again. Uh, the two websites you can look at are michaeltollisonartist.com and then the second one, if you if you wish to book me, you can contact me through bookmichaeltollison.com. The other thing I will mention, I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, we talked about the, the thing in L.A. with uh, Temple Grandin and Friends. Yes. There's a video of me painting on that particular uh, uh, YouTube. I do try uh, to put some of the events where I speak and I paint live on there i do want someone to be able to see the the miracle of, of this autistic gift i'm given yeah and i want them to be able to hear me talk about how it's okay it, how there is a light within us and there's a light in our children i agree michael i'm so glad you're on this planet and i'm so yeah. glad you're speaking out